Hey, I'm back here, and um, I think Sean Smith and I have been uh, talking a little bit about our printers. Uh, we both have these on YouTube, and uh, I would say uh, the number one thing you should do if you buy one of these printers for a uh, like a CTC or a Flash Forge or any 3D printer that is a knockoff of the uh, MakerBot Replicator Duel is to go out, and I think I said in one of my other videos, uh, get these bearings uh, that go on this rod here. This rod actually was not supported by another bearing. Um, just had the bearings in the side of the frame. And what I did is I added uh, two bearings in the back, and then in the front here, I added two more bearings to help uh, the belt pulley there and I was getting a lot of flex on those actually that back rod was bent and it went up above those screws in the back it actually bowed up that high if you look back here and see these screws back here it actually bowed way up and uh, didn't like that so I went to Hobby Town and uh, they have these bearings here and they were uh, five millimeter 11 by 4s I want to say and uh, you could print off this bracket and uh, made a huge difference and also improved the print quality there's no vibration made the printer actually quieter as it's printing and uh, the vibrations that you would have on those pulleys and the belts would really uh, resonate throughout that printer head so you get a smoother surface you get uh, more uniform print so that would be the number one thing you should do when you first buy this and uh, with this video I'll put the, the bearings and the part I printed off a uh, thingiverse so I would suggest doing that first <laughs> 